Welcome back to Soma. Last time we left off, we had just made it into Tau. And it looks like the textures are still loading in a little bit. Give it a second. I've noticed that when I stop playing and I get back into the game. Um, the game, it takes a little bit for like the textures to, to pop in. But, oh yeah, they're back now. Or at least, yeah, I think they're back now. So we're in Tau, just made it, we're on the bottom of the ocean, we're in the abyss, uh, and I believe that the Ark is supposed to be down here somewhere. We're also not alone in here, as if, if you remember from last time, that guy that's been, or that entity that's been following me, followed me in here. He seem it seems to be friendly, but I don't know. I don't know for sure. So I'm just gonna keep looking around. See what we can find. Looks like the wow has run rampant throughout the uh, Tau facility, that's for sure. the Tau facility with us. I know we were just in here, but am I missing anything? Just want to make sure we see all of the lore we can, you know? This is where we came from. I'm just double checking that we didn't miss anything important. You guys all right? What happened here? We ran out of real food long ago. People have been getting sick. Haven't heard from anyone in months. No shit. They all think you're dead down here. Some failed evac story circulating at Omicron. Oh, God. Listen, son. We're on an important mission, and we need your help to operate the Omega space gun. When it's done, we can all head back up the plateau. But now we need to get moving. Of course. Head on through to the habitat. We shut off the front section to preserve power. All right. See you soon. All right, I'm pretty sure we heard that last time. Someone's still active in town, unless that's me, right? That was a terrifying section of the game. <laughs> I'm dreading having to go back out into the darkness with those creatures out there. coming.
don't know if he's... If, I don't know if he could see us or if he could just hear us. He's still right outside the door, I think. He's close. He walked off now. We'll see around this guy. <coughs> seems like he, he it seems like he's got vision. It's not based on hearing like the other monsters have been. I don't know how far or if he even will follow me. <sighs> uh, I don't even know what we're supposed to be doing in here, honestly. Okay, backup power's offline. Anyone there? Not in the mood to talk to robots. No offense. Okay. So we've made it down this hatch. We need to go back out and then up and then over again. Okay. Oh, just leave it on. Meanwhile, I don't know where that guy is.
seems like he's still down on the other end of the facility, which is nice. For now. I know I can outrun him now, too, which is nice to know. Wow pattern replicated in struct gel approaching C2933 53A5530 32G9531 44U3635 66. Spike C and U to regress. Wow more than the gel entity. Extended by the gel growth vector. I don't know what any of this shit means. Wow, force wow to kill itself must reach Omicron. Seems like someone was trying to kill the WoW. Figure out a way to kill the WoW if that's even possible. Doesn't look like there's anything in here of note. hearing something around here. I don't know what it is, though. I want to keep crouching just in case. stuff. We got ajo, agua, coffee, jerky, juice, miso, nori, nutrisub, powdered milk, sneaker meals, tea, dried squid, minnows, repair pastes, intravenous? Okay. I'm going. Okay, d dude. I'm like, if you want me to help you, stop scaring the shit out of me. Can we 
do anything for him? No. We're out of sedatives. If we had a gun, this would be the time to pull it out. <sighs> Did not expect it to end like this. Should have jumped the climber back to Omicron. Without the Ark? Forget about the Ark. No, you don't get to say that. It's the only thing left of value. You know that. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Promise you won't leave it behind. We'll all be dead one day. Then what? Well, better keep it safe until then. Don't want the wild to take it, swallow it whole. Uh, I'm sorry, Catherine. It's okay, Ian. Just let it out. Let it all out. Sounds like that guy, the, the man speaking in that, sounds like the, um, the guy that's talking to me, following me, kinda. I wonder if it's the same guy. Theta, everything went well. All of the crew scanned and and banked in, uh, into in the Ark, loading the shuttle to Omicron, leaving as soon as possible. Omicron, Eames and her crew welcomed us with open arms. Scans went well, should have most of them. Tau, we found five surviving members at Tau. They have been stranded here for months without radio contact or proper food. We managed to scan them all, though I suspect their arrival will cause some trouble inside the Ark as they feel abandoned by Omicron. I just hope everything, everyone will be able to forgive each other. Phi. Shit went down. We couldn't launch. Going back to Tau to figure it out. Okay. So I assume we're going to have to get to Phi at some point. Good man. We messed up, Sarah. There, there. We should have launched. Taken the chance. There's time. If Ashkin says we could try again, when things calm down. You gotta do it, you know. You got to. <laughs> <laughs> Some of these people are being taken over by the WoW, it seems like, I guess. I mean, we obviously know that's happening, but... Bathroom. To leave. I understand, dude. Let me explore a bit. The infirmary. No, we do, dude. You need to chill. Post-impact notes. January 12th, minor structural damage. Radio knocked out. January 17th, communications recovered. Omicron and the rest of Pathos 2 are all right. April 3rd, cross-site radio failing. Lumar probes keep losing the link. Urgent fix needed. Tau can't retrieve the climber until the link is working. April 11th, visited by SSE Wolchek, Dahl, and Holland. Some system of bi-weekly visits established until communications. Lumar back at 100%. September 13th, evacuation of Tau ordered. We're all leaving for Omicron. September 15th, swarmed by monsters and no radio. We're fucked. That must be the... That must be the animals outside. Dude. <laughs> Fuck off.
Is anybody online? just let something bad out of that room, did I? Okay, I will check that room in a second. Alright, the access tunnel is unstable. So we need to get the Phi, it looks like. Ah, Buddha. Is this showing the per like the progression of a wow infection on something? Located at, L at, at at the Phi facility. <sighs> September thirteenth, twenty one o three. I was hoping to see Elmacron today. The evaction ordered uh, by the people at Theta was a gift, an excuse to leave Alpha and abandon the Wow. As the storm cleared, we were swarmed by monsters that the Wow had facilitated. We were ambushed and forced back towards Tau. Glasser, Kovsky, Kotzi, and I survived. Alclair is in the infirmary, but doesn't look good. Yeah, uh, November 19th, 2103. Kotzi made a run for it to check observation for anything resembling food. Going outside is beyond dangerous. It's like going to buy cigarettes in a hurricane. She came back and she had some crumbs with her. We all knew it was empty. I think she just wanted a chance to die without carrying the responsibility of taking it herself. December 25th, 2103. People from the Plateau showed up. It was a group of engineers from Theta telling us that they wanted to use the Omega Space Gun to launch something called the Ark. It's an artificial world that carries brain scans from people working at Pathos 2. The idea is silly but endearing. We all agreed to do a scan so we could, keep, we could take part of this afterlife. And then December 26, 2020, 2103. Some of the engineers returned from Phi. Apparently, they postponed the ARC launch. They were all in very foul mood and difficult to get any straight answers from, except for one very important thing. They all wished to remain at Tau to figure this ARC business out, but they had scheduled for the climber to pick them up tomorrow. Someone would need to catch that climber to alert Omicron to what was happening. Luckily, Glasser and I were able to take on this mission. I will finally get to warn Dahl and Sarang about the critical situation at Site Alpha. The pattern has stopped evolving. The WoW has managed to find balance. I convinced SSE Volchek to turn off all external control systems, making the WoW our de facto caretaker. So far, it's exceeding expectations. Since the comet crashed a few days ago, January 12th. The WoW has dropped to a low energy state. It hasn't abandoned its duties. It's keeping climate and life support going. But it's been simplifying the pattern. 
redefining its protocol. Hmm. The WoW has started to grow physically. It's not just the core chamber. All around Pathos 2, structure gel is bursting through the pipes and bleeding through walls. I don't know what WoW could possibly stand to gain from this, but I assume it is intentional. The heart of WoW has claimed such a large part of the core chamber that there can no longer be any question to its heightened awareness. Not only does its expansion suggest an unexpected understanding of space, but also its own physical manifestation within the world. The WoW is reaching out to every machine, every life form, to manipulate, to control. It's trying to help save its creators from all this, just like the protocol demands. But really, what is good enough? Where is the line drawn for what is human and what is not? Would walking corpses do? Would a group of machines thinking they're human be acceptable? We can't trust a machine to know, to understand what it means to be. We have to terminate the WoW project. It can be done. I just need to get some help from Omicron. Hmm. Looks like they tried to <coughs> stop the WoW too late. Alright, I'm going to cut the video here and I'll pick it up next time. I'll see you guys then.